to share truth apply scripture the show where we never really hit uh difficult or controversial hot. Hot. or hot we issues. do hit difficult not well <laughs> here's the thing uh today in studio we do have myself teddy james uh wesley wildman and kelly crampton uh and if you're watching me sorry my foot got stuck in my stool if you want to know what that looks like you can catch us <laughs> on youtube um engagemagazine.net you'll find our information there guys we just spent two weeks discussing how we can overcome obstacles when mm-hmm. it comes to presenting the gospel, to, especially to our own generation, especially right. to millennials. But I think that oftentimes what we do is we there's a tendency where we can make things that are not a gospel issue, we make it almost seem like a gospel issue. And I right. think sometimes those can be... Like the 11th commandment? Is that what yeah, say? that kind yeah, of thing, right? You. And it's like either you agree with us, or you're a heathen heretic, and we're going to burn you at the stake. And, and right. what we're going to yeah. do is... And that's is, Kelly, so we're going to have her own Exactly. Yeah, that's, why yeah. she, that's why Kelly is here. <laughs> um, so we're going to take the next Not couple really. of weeks, um, and we're going to hit some really some issues that there's a lot of disagreement among Christians, mm. and they are political issues. Um, and so we want to come at these with grace and with humility and recognizing we do stand where we stand. We have reasons for standing where we stand, but we want to come on the outset and say that Christians can disagree, Mm -hmm. right? And so we want to have that grace, but also we, just like the people we disagree with, we're fully convinced on where we stand, and we want other people to be fully convinced. So the challenge here is not to say we have all the answers. The challenge here is, as usual, we want you to ask the questions, and we want you to do research and to think through these things for yourself. So this week's topic, we are talking about immigration, Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's because there seems to be this belief that either you're a compassionate Christian and therefore you believe in open borders, or what are borders? No, I'm just yeah, kidding. Uh, <laughs> We're going to get into that. <laughs> we are. Or you are. I don't know what the other side would be. I guess rigid or heartless, mm. um, and you believe racist. in closed, racist, even, xenophobic, yeah. um, and you believe you in there, closed <laughs> borders, right? So there's either side, um, and and really there's. There's room for discussion. That there's discussion I, that needs to happen. Well, and, that, and I do think, although like you said, and I think your introduction was perfect that there's disagreement in the middle for sure. But I do think both sides is as an extreme are both wrong. Oh, I completely um, agree. Yeah, I do yeah, want to get into yeah. that. I definitely but want to get will, into that. But there will be some, and there'll be some room for disagreement, especially toward the end of our conversation. Yep. But at the beginning, I wanted to start off. Um, over, I, you know, I, looking at our notes and what we wanted mm-hmm. to that, I wanted to start off by saying that there are some things that are common ground that we, I think, we should all agree on. Yeah, and I think one of those is that immigration is good. Yeah. Now we disagree. Now there are people right. again on the extreme that say closed borders is the only way to go. Right. I, I strongly disagree with that. Right. 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 Uh, we, there's a few nations that's done that, and it hasn't worked out for them. Very it, well. It, well, there's a bunch of different reasons, a, a bunch of just realistic and logistical reasons that it's bad. But look at some of our greatest minds. Albert Einstein was not born in America. Right. He immigrated. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, we have. Well, really, I mean, if you get technical, we're it's, to some degree we're all immigrants. Uh, well, some place yeah, yeah. because we well, go we're back. Americans, we're all mutt, so yeah, yeah. that's a good way to put it. But the thing is, I actually I love immigration. Sure, um, I love the melting pot that is America. I love what immigrants bring to America, and I love the fact that America is a place that people want to come. And America allows you know anywhere around 1.1 million legal immigrants each year, and you can look at the statistics. We're four times we have four times more immigrants, legal immigrants. And the United States of America than any other country in the world. Right, so, yeah. I mean, yeah, so I we. Mean, second place, we're at somewhere in the 40, uh-huh, 40 million. 45 million. Immigrants living in America, and the second place is like 11. Yeah. I so, think. it's like four times. So, there's not even under, a. There, no. There's not even a. a no, no. There's nowhere now, close. Now, yeah. for, for those that are on the other side, I have read some of the arguments. So, they will say, you will hear that percentage wise of people coming in per population. There's a few that we may drop one or two spots. You know, we may not well, be number yeah, one. Yeah, but America but the, is large. The, ma- we're right. huge. But the number mm-hmm. of coming in is is 45 since 1970. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's that's good. So, so, so I think that kind of uh, we're gives the idea. We <laughs> like Big time. immigration, right. but legal. right, we mm-hmm. like illegal legal immigration. Um, 
now we're going to get into a little bit of some nitty gritty. Um, I think we do have to lay down some groundwork first. All right. And there's a little bit of groundwork that has to be done whenever we're discussing things, because this is a legal issue. This is a policy issue. Mm-hmm. Um, and therefore, a national is a national security. issue. So when we approach these things, we come at it from um, a position of we need to respect the authority God has put over us. Right. That's it. And Absolutely. so we want to lay that out and say, OK, there's a bunch of different scriptures. Romans 13, I think, is one of the most common. That's yep. used. Mm-hmm. First um, Timothy 2. is there. Yeah. So, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of these. So we need to understand that we are coming from that perspective. However, one of the reasons we love our country is that if there is a law that we believe to be unjust, unfair, there is a way about which we can go to get that law changed. Mm-hmm. And we love that that it's side a, of America. Yeah, and it's a privilege. It's a constitutional Absolutely. protected, you know. Right. Well, the thing is, that's part of what AFA, our parent organization, stands for is activism and yeah. being active in that. So we want to encourage that. So if you disagree and if you think, oh, these laws, especially we're going to talk about a law specifically here in a moment. But if you think, oh, these laws are terrible, great. Fight it. <laughs> yeah. Fight it the right way. You got petition. But fight it. Yeah, there's different ways. You got the open debate. You got petition. You can vote to make changes. There are ways to do that. I wanted to mention, uh, and just real briefly, and then we'll reset and we'll mm-hmm. get moving. But the fact that uh, I love Daniel's example of this because uh, we are, whether we think it's unfair or wrong or not just, we are commanded in Scripture, at least in two different places that you mentioned, Romans 13, 1, Corinth, 1 Timothy 2, that we are to submit to the governing authorities and to live at peace with all men and all that. However, there's only one instance in which we are commanded to disobey, and that's if the go- government coerces us or forces us to disobey God, okay? Right. Because mm-hmm. um, government is not our ultimate authority. And my favorite part about what I just said is we have an example of both cases, um, mm-hmm. and that's in Daniel. Okay, so Daniel was at one point about to be coerced or forced to change his eating habits in which God commanded him to do originally. Mm -hmm. And I love the word creative alternative is instead of the spirit of rebellion where he'd stand up and go, no, I'm not doing that. You can't make me that up. He thought about it for a minute and was like, well, look, how about you do your eating habits? I do mine for 10 days. My team does my uh, or the, the way I think we should do it. You do it your way, and the, mm-hmm. what the best team, let the best man win type thing yeah. is what he said. Right. And that was a creative alternative. But there was, in chapter 6, you'll see where he was uh, forced or coerced to, uh, to, to, uh, do, you know, what, to do away with his private prayer life. Mm-hmm. And he said, sorry, not going to do that. And, of yeah. course, he was thrown in the lines, and we know the story. So we have a good a biblical example of someone thinking of a creative alternative, not a rebellious spirit. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, later on in his life, years later, he was also had that, to say... That comes with maturity yeah, yeah. as well. Comes with <laughs> You're listening to Gays Magazine on American Family Radio. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're talking about the topic of immigration. We're just getting started. We've got a lot to cover. Kelly's got a paper full, and I can't even <laughs> read your writing over Can you read your writing over there? We yeah, be, I can we, read my okay. own <laughs> we, we, uh, Kaylee's an intern, so we find ways to pick on her, and if you want to pick on her, you can get on her on <laughs> gaysmagazine.net. <laughs> You can click on the YouTube there, and we're actually on YouTube right now, and so uh, you can find us there. You comment on below, send us some links. If you disagree with us, you find some opposing arguments that would help us grow. Uh, send them to us. We'd love to see that. And we're yeah, and that's a good point. If yeah. you disagree with us, we do. We want to hear from you. You yes. can hit us up, uh, engagemagazine.net. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can email and if you're us. Watching right, if you're watching right now, you're probably looking at all the stuff we've got on our <laughs> table where we're, we're still searching this thing okay well, and that, yeah. is, that is really <laughs> yeah. important but kelly i want to get into a little bit of the research you've done because you've researched a little bit of the law right yeah just briefly i mean just right. an overview i don't know the details no I'm not saying that you do what? but what was one thing that you found interesting in in the short amount of research you did i think just the reminder that like I mean, I've had a lot of immigration debates with people, people on both sides of, um, you know, the the ultra compassionate side and then the ultra closed borders side. Um, And it's just it's good to look and see, Okay, we have laws set in place like we we welcome immigrants. We welcome legal immigrants, like you've said. And there is a way for every single person to, you know, start that process to go through the system that we've set in place and become a legal U.S. citizen. Um, and I mean, I looked up 
a good amount about green cards and about the whole process. There are like 10 steps um, to the naturalization process mm-hmm. that you can take. Um, and I think the biggest thing that I took away was how I think that it is, it does get very, very complicated and that a lot of people have really struggled and it takes years and years and years. But I mean, just looking at the website and everything, it's like, okay, this is possible. Mm -hmm. We want people to come into the country and we want people to come the legal way. Um, and the green card eligibility, um, requirements, there's a long, long list of, ways that you can get a green card i mean just any connection and there's some super random things too i was like wow that's an interesting way to go about it um but i mean there's there's ways for everyone to come in to yeah the and we have and spouses here at afa who are legal immigrants who have mm-hmm. gone through the process and they could i mean yeah they could tell you well, how we that's have done. one of our, our one of our writers stacy now seen there you is go married yeah. um, go check out some of her articles yeah. while you're at engaged magazine yeah, yeah. Fact, she's got a really interesting thing she wishes people would have told her about marriage yes before she got that's married. her most recent article yeah. Is great. yeah it's a, a good article it yeah. is it's a great article but her husband was born in india okay um i had the, the privilege of going to college with with maurice her husband and um Great guy, and still working, I think still working on his citizenship. Sure. Yeah. It is not a short and easy process. Not, it's it, not a drive through go to like a Chick-fil-A thing. <laughs> right, it's, it's not a Las Vegas drive through wedding kind of thing. Right, right. But at the same time, I don't think it should be. Right. Um, I think that there should be a a process. Sure. Um, I think that the country... And that's what's up for... See, that's what I believe is the debate part, the open for discussion, because... Then it's like, well, how would the price of the how long? Should be? And how I think hard should, should it yeah, be? Yeah. And I'm all for it having those kind of discussions. Right. But well, you have to first acknowledge there's borders and there's mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. And like there has to be but a process. Th- that yeah. people go right. Through. There has yeah. to start there. <laughs> but here's the thing: we do have to, and you pointed this out well, Wesley. There is an underlying assumption in that, in that one, we believe that there should be a process, and two, we believe that there should be a a defined. Okay, this is America. Yeah. Um, and this is what an American is. And there's a bunch of assumptions here that, again, I recognize people are going to disagree with. Mm-hmm. Uh, people are going to disagree with, oh, you can't define American like that. Right. And, and again, that's okay. I want to reiterate, what we're discussing here is a worldview issue. Mm. When we're coming from Scripture, there's not a particular verse we can point to to say, here's the, the hard and fast rule. But there are principles that we can draw out of Scripture, and especially when it comes to the issue of illegal immigration or the children of people who who came to America illegally, who did bypass the process that we just talked about. What do we do with them? What do we do with the 17-year-old whose parents are here not legally? That and many more issues we're going to talk about coming up in the next segment.